Styles, where we post it every Friday. See them corner emojis, then you know it's wild. I'm a Jada Gemini to the day I die, and I'ma talk my sh but I don't play both sides. With um, she's been prosecuted. Like it's over. She's has she? I think so. I don't think she has. So I she hasn't gotten she... her time yet. I don't think so. Mm. Dead ass. So there's still there must be so much evidence. To go over, hell yeah. But what's scary to me is that there's so much evidence because there's so many bystanders. Like, there's so many people that whipped their phone out and recorded these two people fighting and didn't do shit. Like, maybe they could have prevented stuff from happening. You never know. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. But honestly, I think it was more of a spectacle at the time. I don't even think niggas was really thinking it was ever going to come to this point. Because when do they ever, though? What's the point of recording? If it's not going to be seen someday. So when do you want it to be seen? In the police station or at the freaking funeral home? like, Or on the Law and Crime Network. Right, on the Law and Crime Network. So trigger warning, y'all, because this girl is very, like, emotionally charged. Um, The dude recording this gets on my damn nerves. Like, I caught that from the, like, the first time I seen this, I was like, oh, my gosh. You really about to, if both of y'all don't handle this bitch and call her, her friends or something to come and get her. Well, uh, one of them like could have grabbed her arms. The other one could have grabbed her legs. And, and just, just put her put in her the out. hallway, yeah. bro, and, <laughs> and then close the door. Out. And then she call her kicked, people. She would have screamed, but I sure, mean. Sure, but somebody would have came, got yeah, her, like. Bro. Yeah, nah, man, this bitch is She's intense. acting like a pan idiot. Like, I was over for two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks. And now she was sober for two weeks. You. Oh. Newly released video oh, okay, shows yeah. OnlyFans model Courtney Clenny you hitting that Christian Abamselli, the boyfriend she's charged with killing. You, you, you're hindering my progress. Your progress. Let go. Let go. The progress lawyer for Christian Abamselli's family man. is here. She says the video bolsters her case and the state's. I'm Anjanette Levy. It's Friday, and this is Crime Fix. This girl. video came out through discovery just, just from the state video, attorney's girl. office in Courtney, in Colorado. Take a look. Anyway, you know, like I was sober for two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Yeah, they had and to censor that for that she was going ham. I was like, yo. You're hindering my progress. So maybe the trigger warning is not needed. They done censored it up. Let go. Come on, boy. Boy, boy, it's wild. Bro, like you're tripping, bro. Rest in peace, but you are tripping, bro. Nah, she is exactly what everybody yeah. thought she was, bro. A real, real bigoted, microaggressive little bit. Yes, I'm not mad at you. You let Malala say some, some Oh my God. I didn't let her say anything. Did you say you let a bitch get you fucked up, bitch. I don't got you out here off that, whatever you on. Let's put her on the phone right now. There was a bottle of tequila and some Modellos on the table, but she acting like she off a little bit more than that. The argument continues from there, with Courtney Clenny talking to the person recording. Boy is wild. Boy is crazy. Boy is. Bro, not you over here not trying to seek the validation wall. from this right, nigga. Right, that's why I'm like, bro, what are you doing, friend? It's like she knows. But you remember people were like, oh, yeah. There were people, like, riding her wave like this dude was violent. Congress is investigating what they call. My bad. Not the UFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a UFO in Miami. They went to the mall. They had to go get some Birkenstock. Have her Coretta, man. You heard the recording. Uh, right now. Period. This is actually period. Do you understand that? This is him talking yeah. to the white girl. Do you girl. really go face? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come yes. home drunk and disturb the peace of our house? So she's she's allegedly drunk in this clip. When we have a plan. I'm I would so like sorry. to get to, I would like to get to the point. Where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is gonna be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't. I, like, I'm, I'm, no, no, do you understand that? Because cause that team. She sounds like Iggy and Zell, yeah. Right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. Do you know who that is? 
That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Hello? Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you. We talking about o Obama right now, girl. Come on. I thought together. we was talking about get going. How are you getting from oh, no. going out to talking about Obama? Like, come on now. Keep up. I'm just going to say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? I'm going to say, I'm a great man. A great man. I am a great man, Savannah. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked, and that's the situation. The woman that supports me. I marched that down I Washington. Think, the work that mm. needs I got to you be a federal holiday.